Are we through with selfish and unselfish? I don't know. I, no, I, don't, I don't, don't think know. people we, will we, ever be through. We kept on going, we kept on going, because I think uh, it's a pretty heavy thing to get through with, because I think it's at the root of our malaise in many ways, is it not? I mean, I, 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 I look at the way people live. I just came in this morning, I came in over, I landed at Newark for the first time, and it was clear all the way from Chicago at dawn. And I, I, I like to look out the window, you know? I'm mm -hmm. not sitting back there uh, asleep like the whole plane is. I think the, the glory that some of us know is that we see and we feel, you know? And I don't mean to cast aspersions on anyone on this earth, but I do know, because uh, I travel so much, I perpetually marvel at the fact that people don't see anything. You no, know what I mean? no. I've come back on so many 747s, and you're coming over Ireland, and it's one of the great sights of this earth, and nobody sees it, huh? Huh? Oh, you came, we came, I, last summer I came down the River Seine one time, and uh, I always got a little pair of binoculars. And I look out, I can see the barges moving. I look around at my colleagues in the 747. The bloody place was jammed. Maybe two people were looking out the window. You know? mm -hmm. uh, so what's selfish? I think they get bludgeoned, you know. They get bludgeoned. And, 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 and it passes for living unselfishly, as you said so beautifully. They're supposed to be unselfish. But it's, it's, a, it's a form of death. I, I think the average man who, who is a pillar, or what I call in, in voyage, I refer to them as the home guard. Huh? The average man in the home guard, well, they, he's the escapist. We're not the escapists. He escapes into the security of the job. When you go out uh, and take your chance, it's not altogether easy, huh? Not altogether easy. No, sir. Not at all easy. Not at all easy. Have you ever... I'm sure you've flown into Hong Kong? Never. No. Oh, now you've got to do this. They have an airport there that uh, you come in through the mountains. Yeah, yeah. And I... My Lord, the, uh, the, the apartment buildings, you know, the population is so dense there. And you'll be flying in. And off the end of the wing of the plane is the buildings. And you look out the window, and most flights you get there early in the morning uh, uh, because of the, the, the date line. And you look out the window and look, look at people having breakfast uh, in their, at their kitchen tables uh, uh, as the plane is landing. Uh, oh, it's tremendous. Yeah. And most <clears throat> of the people on the plane... Oh, the world well, is so of beautiful. They have to the speak. world is so beautiful. The world is so beautiful. And I think, you know, I, I watch people because I've been living off and on uh, in, in Paris on this, on this beautiful canal barge, and uh, right in the middle of Paris. And I, and I watch the buses go by, you know, the big double decker buses. Mm -hmm. And they got the headphones on to tell them where to look, you know. Did you ever see that? Look so? Look so. Oh, my. That's very sad. That's very sad. And the sad thing is that, that they know that, 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 that something's happened to them, that, 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 that their capacity to absorb and to touch, you know, and to be free. In this country, we are so regimented here. You take these amusement parks. We all know the, the big ones on the yeah, yeah, west yeah, coast where yeah. Mickey Mouse lives. And the loudspeakers. Form a line to the right. Yeah. You will stand behind the person in front of you. Yeah. Do not touch the railing as you leave the... Uh, people are being screamed at in Yeah, this well, country. you got to go as best you can. I think you got to try to go pretty much alone, you know. Go alone and... and, 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 and uh, uh, or if you're lucky, again, to go back to where we were, or if you're lucky with, with, to go with a loved one, huh? Mm -hmm. Whatever sex, form, shape, or size, or whatever, go with a companion. Well, I'm a little bit choosy when it comes to gender. Yeah, right? well, I am too. <laughs> but I mean, I, but suppose you're not. Well, mm -hmm. then that's your business. That's suppose okay. somebody else. Well, that's all I'm saying. That's fine. Uh, let her rip, huh? Were you, uh, were you hard on the women that you were married to, do you think? Hey, the well, I got my you... wife out here. My wife's right back in the room now. Uh, certainly not intentionally. Um, 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 uh, I think perhaps I was because, uh, um, well, let's say they took it hard. Uh, 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 again, because I think uh, it's a rather strong thing, uh, uh, at least in, in, in my experience. I've been married three times, and, and, uh, and uh, uh, I think that the, the idea of, of, of having a husband who could uh, supply the, 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 the magic uh, was, was very important, at least to the women that I knew. Uh, uh, and therefore, if one sort of falls it becomes deficient in that area, it's a tough thing. But then, of course, one might say, and I'm sure my wife wouldn't, my beautiful wife wouldn't mind my saying this, but then you ask yourselves, which I'm going to try to write a book about now, and I think it's a fascinating thing, why, if people are in any way incompatible on many surface ways, why do they not walk away? Of course, many people do, but there are some of us who don't, you know, and, uh, and that's a very beautiful thing, too. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a form of, uh, of great need and love, I think, and, uh, but it makes for an awful lot of... Uh, <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of tears, a mm. lot of tears, and a lot of agony, and a lot of booze, and, 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 um, or A lot whatever. of adrenaline pumped into the bloodstream? Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh my goodness me, oh my goodness me. Uh, a book that I would like you to do, uh, do you still have the diary that you, uh, that you, uh, wrote when you were on the grass? You know yeah, the, I surely do. I've got, I've got 900 pages of legal-sized typescript. 900 pages, yeah, because I kept it all in journals. And I might say this, uh, 
I think what was intriguing to me was that having, having been beaten to my knees and trying to write in the conventional sense of the word, Tom, hmm? I found, uh, as I started to say, I began to, tr I was so fascinated, I began to sort of keep a record like a log. Yeah? And then I wrote only well, for one reason. Here's how I feel, here's where yeah, I am. Yeah, not even here's how, it's just, I just wrote it down. And I used different colored pen, and I, for some reason, put down the time, always the time. Let's say now it's, it's, it's 20, 118 hours or whatever. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then I, whatever's in my mind, maybe two lines, maybe a page. And so it, 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 it's sort of wonderful because you're not trying to describe anything. I fasted once for 26 days, during which time, just on water, grass, and headphones. And uh, that's a pretty good <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. Let me uh, pause for these words yeah. from our sponsors. I might say that I'm, I'm, I'm going along with you tonight because I find, I said to you uh, in, in the, uh, privately, and I want to say it out front here, I've seen a lot of people come through this show, and there are so very few who uh, can think things through the way you can, who can verbalize your feelings, who give of themselves, who don't mind talking about stuff. Most people who come in here, they're laid back, and they, they're processed, and they're, they're programmed by the publishers, or they're programmed by the PR people, and you're not that way. Well, I think the joy, I think the joy and opportunity of life, uh, to me, is, is the opportunity to, to, to touch people as you go by, you know? Yeah. You may never see them again, but, yeah. but I, I think it is incumbent upon us, is it not, if, if you're going to talk, talk, huh? Right. Let them get right down to it. Uh, exactly. And, 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 and uh, you're not doing it to be, to be rude or to show... I had a funny thing happen because I'm getting all kinds of, you know, uh, reviews of my book now, and something came in the other day and it said, Hayden not only talks now about being an alcoholic, but he talks about occasionally using grass. And this man says, well, perhaps... Uh, uh, this man is doing this to cover up his, his sense of artistic deficiency. And I had to laugh because I'm rather proud of this book, you know. And whatever I do, it's not that reason, you know. Uh -huh. and, but the people tend to look at it that way because I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they know. Anyway, Mr. Keith Straub, who is the director of Normal, will be with us next Wednesday night instead of tonight. Because if we had brought him out when we finished the last segment, it would have been too little time for him to have been talked and blah, blah, blah. And so he'll be here Wednesday. And is he mad? He's... Happy, because he Beautiful. is owned. No, he's not. <laughs> we will continue with Sterling Hayden after these announcements from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs>